right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Six of Swords in reverse. Somebody's getting ready to spin the block and come back and say, I'm sorry. Bottom of the deck could be a Capricorn or an air sign, a Ge uh, Gemini Libra or an Aquarius here. Look at that. This person is obsessively watching you. Page of Swords energy here. They want to reconcile on the bottom of that is the Ace of Cups. I mean, damn. We started out with a big ass boom, didn't we? <laughs> this person was hiding stuff. Who's this? A lot of secrets, I feel like. Hmm. A lot of secrets. Six of Swords and the Page of Cups. Somebody wants to come back and return you guys. Hmm. And apologize to you. They miss you. They miss you. Hmm. For some of you, this person could have actually went back to somebody else. And now they want to apologize to you for doing that. That's not for everybody. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. Mm -mm, this person wants to talk. Mm, okay. What's this, what are these disagreements about? Thank you secrets like I said so okay I don't know where to start here there's a lot of channel messages coming through uh oh hit the camera there's a lot of channel messages coming through here for you and your person this person is obsessively thinking about you like I said here there definitely is some toxic energy here and I feel like you blocked that out with the queen of swords being here you're like no you turned your back to it because the queen of swords has their back turned to this devil energy I'm saying this person is obsessively watching you or obsessively thinking about you because the Queen of the because the Devil's here with the Page of Swords also and the Ace of Cups is right next to the Page of Swords, so you know this person. Look at the, even the daydreaming energy came out. This person's always longing for you and thinking about you. They're daydreaming about the life that the two of you could have had together. They know that you're irreplaceable. No one can love them the way that you love them. What's the name of that song? Um, no one's gonna love you like I'm gonna love you. You know, I, 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 I've been through some things. Please don't hold that against me. That's Jennifer Hudson. I can't sing, okay? Just charge it to the game for me, y'all. But this person knows that... Your love can never be matched by anybody else. And that is why they're obsessively thinking about you. They want to talk and apologize. Okay, with this Page of Cups energy being here, this person just wants to hear your voice. They really miss you. They really want to talk here. You see this conversation energy is coming out. I feel like the last time the two of you guys had a conversation, there was some form of disagreement over, over some sort of secret that this person was keeping from you. Look at this energy. We have secrets, disagreements, and conversation, right? And remember, I was saying earlier, like, what secrets is this person keeping from you? Look at this. The Seven of Swords and the, and the High Priestess energy. Somebody could be a Pisces. They don't have to be, but, like, I, you know... <sighs> you, just, you just said, you know what the hell with it, I'm done. I can't keep doing this. For some of you all, this person was hiding habits. Either this person had some bad spending habits. This person may have some gambling habits, some drug habits. But it's going to be different for all of you guys here with this habit energy here being on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if we will ever change. I don't even know why this says we. Hmm. Because I feel like you have your back turned to this devil energy here with this queen of swords. You have your back turned to it. You're not giving it any energy. You're you're just you're just not. Mm. Hmm. Show me more here. All right. I want more energy on the six of swords in reverse. Why is the six of swords here in reverse? Why is the six of swords here in reverse? This page of this page of swords came out again in a totally different deck. By the way, look at that. I'm telling you, this person's either A, obsessively watching you, and Five of Pentacles came out in reverse. They want to come out of the pole here and apologize for something that they did. For some of you all, it could be for abandoning you. It could be them choosing these habits, right? Whatever that disagreement was here. For some of y'all, Nine of Pentacles energy. Hmm. 
Nine of Wands. The number 99 could be significant. You could have been born in 1999. Just, there, there goes that Queen of Swords again. I feel like you're single. I feel like you are single. You're setting boundaries for yourself. You are doing well. You're blocking out any negative energy. You don't need it. You don't, You just don't need it in your life. And honestly, if it has to be all of this toxic energy, I feel like you guys are not just giving into that energy. You're just not. Yeah. Ace of Wands. This person wants a new passionate beginning with you. The Death card. The Ace of Swords. This person wants to wants to have a conversation with you. Yeah, but they're afraid you're not going to talk to them. Could be dealing with the Scorpio here with this Death card coming out here. If you, here, if you can see that. Yeah. They're afraid you're going to reject them. Or, you know, I, we'll see, but... Hmm... Tell me more. Spirit is saying trust your intuition when this person comes back towards you. Some of you guys were dealing with a player. Okay. Show me more of this energy. This person is embarrassed by their behavior. Yeah, you, you're dealing with a player. You can't trust this person. You, you can't trust this person, you guys, and you know you can't trust them. <laughs> Look at you showing up in your nine of pentacles and queen of swords energy, not playing any games with anybody. Okay, you're stepping into your power. You are looking good. You're feeling good. You're not taking any drama, any bull from anybody. You're cutting this off. You're cutting cords. Some of y'all did some cord cutting ceremonies or you just called your energy back to you, right? This person, I'm telling you, they want to have a conversation so bad. Get ready for a conversation here. This person's just afraid you're not going to listen to them. You don't want to believe anything that they say. They're hoping that you trust any in what they tell you, but I don't feel like you're going to trust this person. This person's really embarrassed at their behavior or whatever it is to hear that they did or how they acted. Show me more of this situation, please. Wow, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition keeps coming out. Wow. This person is reaching their breaking point here. This person is driving them cra themselves crazy. They feel pushed to make a decision here. And I feel like the reason that they feel pushed in this eight of swords energy, nine of swords energy is because their spirit team and their spirit guides are like pushing them to 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 do right, to act right. This person is in huge, huge regret over this situation. For some of you all, they regret choosing somebody else, like I said. If for, for those of you where this person went somewhere else, right? Mm -hmm. This person is haunted by past memories. Six of Cups energy. They cannot stop thinking about you. This person hopes that you're waiting for them. Listen, I, you are in such great energy here with this queen rising, the queen of swords, the nine of pentacles. We have the shine. Your light irritates their demons. And then we have queen rising. You see what I'm saying here? Your energy is so great. Like, oh, this person could have married somebody for money. Interesting. Some of y'all, they chose somebody else for money. Or for some form of stability or they're counting on somebody. Somebody else is providing them with something. That's why they can't let this situation go. Mm. Hope they're having fun. Whoever this person is they're dealing with though, they, <laughs> they got a bad reputation. Whoever this person is has a really bad reputation. But you know what? I feel like because this came out in reverse, this person... Remember we saw the shine, your light irritates their demons. It's like, the, this is the person who's looking at you in this queen rising energy. And you're a good, great person. You're a great catch. You're looking good. Like I said, you set boundaries with people. You are you don't have time for the drama or any toxicity or any conflict. But I feel like this person like speaks bad on you or someone here in this energy is speaking bad on you collective. But it's only because they're jealous or your light irritates their demons. Hmm. I'm not surprised. What's this card? Passion. There's a lot of... 
Yeah, nosy. Look at this. I can't make it up. I didn't see these cards flip out. It says a closer look, nosy, up in your business. That's that page of swords energy too that keeps coming out. There's somebody here. Either This could be your person and a third party too. When the two, you and this person got together, when you and your twin got together, there was a lot of passionate sex, like very intimate, hot, heavy energy between the two of you guys. Look at this passionate energy here. Wow. And this person is over here thinking about it too. They must not be getting what they need to be getting somewhere else. Because they're over here sitting in this energy, going through some regret in their head. Going through some form of a breaking point, wanting, wanting to come out of this Five of Pentacles energy with the Five of Pentacles coming out in reverse. They know that you're irreplaceable. The way you love me can never be matched. So you just remember that, but it doesn't mean you got to be with this person. But, you know, for some of you all, somebody here is committed. This family card just came out, but it came out in reverse. So for those of you, this person is with somebody else here. There was trouble. There was trouble in the home. There is some something coming in for you. There's some new start or new beginning coming in for you. The, it's, it's the spirit is saying trust and divine timing here with this abundant energy and divine timing energy here. Uh oh, what was that? Nightlife, gamble, take a risk. Some of y'all, like I said, this person has a gambling problem for, for sure. And then, the, uh, this person is super desperate. This person is super, super desperate. They're going to want you to take a leap of faith with them, okay? Or there's this, this is, could be that new opportunity coming in for you too. Where you might want to trust and take a leap. But Spirit is saying, hey, this is your choice. If you want to do this, then just do it, okay? Desperate energy. Because desperate times call for desperate measures. And I feel like your person is getting very, growing very desperate here. Wow. Show me what this twin wants to say to the collective, please. I'm holding on to the memories of us. I was selfish and stuck in my ego came out. They will never compare to you. I can't, I don't know how many times I got to Like, let me show you this. For those of you, your person's with somebody else. This is, this energy keeps coming out. This is two different decks. You're irreplaceable. Whoever this person is with. You shine. There's something different about you, collective. You're there's there's no comparison to the connection that this person had. Again, I'm not saying it makes it this right. I'm not saying this is okay. You definitely turned your back to this situation. You did. That's why this person's holding on to you. What does this person want to say to my collective, please? I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. Didn't I tell you guys earlier this was so intense? Where's that passion card? Let me see if I can find that passion card here. Because there was a lot of passion between the two of you. I don't know where that passion card went. It was here, though. All right. Let's keep it moving. <clears throat> I want to apologize. I need your forgiveness. That's that page of cups. I'm telling you, this person is wanting to talk to you and give you some clarity. I understand how important you are in my life. You see what I'm saying? Nobody else compares to you. They've been watching you on social media. They've been watching you wherever they can watch you. Page of Swords is out here twice with the devil card. Like they're definitely in your space and in your energy. They are, have been admiring you being in this shining energy, you know, in this Nine of Pentacles energy, doing your thing minding your own business cutting off toxic whatever and looking good while doing it collective okay so keep that in mind yeah i don't you know i'm in love with you i just i know that we have a soul connection wow okay let's pull some more messages here divine love you signed up together to do the journey together before you were before you were born 
Nothing will go wrong. So you and this person actually signed up for this journey, whether you know it or not. I know you're like, I know good and dang on well. I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. And I know I, I'm on a twin flame journey. It could be karmic, though. I don't know. I mean... I mean, they're all karmic lessons and cycles anyway, right? But you're supposed to learn something. This person is supposed to learn something. And I feel like this person is taking much longer than you collected to figure this out. You could be dealing with a Leo here. Oh, somebody may have experienced some form of a breakup here. They ended their relationship to be with you. It's up to you if you want to take them back. Look at that. So somebody here had an ending with somebody else. And now they want to come back in towards you. Outside influences. Heavily influenced by the people around them. Opinions or gossip. And, and the, guess what came out with this energy? Extra protection. See, I feel like there were some external if influences between you and this person. Or this person had their own situation going on, right? <clears throat> you were protected from this. Or you just said, no, I'm not going to deal with that. I'm going to cut this off, right? So spirit protected you from all of that gossip and negative energy or you just made your own decision and cut it off yourself right and then we have illusions and the illusions came out in reverse so somebody here is no longer in an illusion about who they either a want to be with or like where they want to head and what direction they want to go in or move into right um so this person looks like they're feeling like they're ready and they want to come they, yeah look at what's on the top of this desires freedom <sighs> Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Third party. There it is. They're involved with someone else who feels who they feel like they're obligated to. Yeah. So for some of y'all, they may have broke up with this other person. Let's see. Let's I'm gonna pull from a different deck real quick and see if they actually so has this person separated from this karmic for some of you all they did for sure because otherwise that energy would not have come out has this person separated from this karmic <clears throat> have they separated from this karmic yeah they it looks like they have let me get another card please yeah the, look at this somebody is bottom of the deck is the chariot cancer energies here scorpio energies here six of wands the tower five of wands in the reverse hmm. somebody's tired of some conflict and they're ready to come out of this conflict there goes that five of pentacles again then we have the magician this person is really, really there goes that page of pentacles look let me show you this so they do want a new beginning with you. Okay. Oh, wait. Can you see that? They're trying to manifest a new beginning with you here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, an Aries, or an Aquarius, or an Earth sign here. And then they want to make this offer to a Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you here. I see Virgo energy here with the Hermit on the bottom of that. So they want to make this love offer to this Page of Pentacles. I mean, to this, this Queen of Cups. The person who's loving, caring, and kind and nurturing. But I don't feel like you're in the Queen of Cups energy currently. You are in the Queen of Swords energy right now. You're like, eh, I don't want anything to do with that at all. And you don't. Okay, so it, like I said, this person... Yeah. Let's get you some twin flame messages. Show me more here for this twin flame journey for the collective viewer, please. For the collective viewer. Thank you. This journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lessons, and that is patience. Remember we said earlier, like, you were supposed to be with this person. There's a reason the two of you met. You both agreed to this. Well, this journey is for the both of you all to learn some form of lessons. And a lot of y'all, it's patience. It says, I, day, I daydream about you. Sometimes it's sexual. Other times I visualize our future together. See what I'm saying? I told you that earlier. I, t I told y'all that. Um, and let's look at what's on the bottom of the deck. I'm afraid you're going to meet someone else before I'm ready to be with you for good. And you will. 
the collective is not going to wait for you. It says, I want you to know everything about me, but I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid I'll get in too deep. Yeah, this is definitely somebody who hid a lot of stuff. Because of you, I'm starting to see what is really important in life. You know, I've been so grounded all my life. It's, it's hard for me to trust the spiritual elements of our connection, yet I can't deny, deny they exist. See, here's the thing. Four, this is the number four, right? You showed this person stability. You showed this person true love, real love. You were irreplaceable. The love that you showed this person, they can never get it from anybody else. It won't. It will never be matched collective, okay? Let's just keep that a, a book, okay? But the point is, this is the stability and love that you showed this person and you gave this person. They were in such a comfortable space with somebody else or in, with this learning this karmic lesson or stuck in this karmic lesson that they weren't able to see that. Then, now, if they see it now great good for them right we want them to heal we want them to grow it doesn't mean they got to do it with you it doesn't mean that you have to wait for them right mm -hmm. let's get you two more messages all right thank you spirit separated or together we are working in tandem with each other and last message, we are in, we incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodlines. And I do believe that you guys did that. I just know that this person is like far, far behind than you are. Okay. You guys are like ahead. Okay. Like you're ahead of the game. You're valedictorian. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys are doing a great, amazing job. Keep up, keep up the good work. I'm hanging there. I know it's not easy on the twin flame journey, but somebody got to do it, honey. And it's only for the ascended. It's only for the chosen one. So I love you guys so, so much.